guys, welcome back to KBM Talent. We got a little crazy busy last week, so we didn't get a video out, but we have something super special. And I have a guest with me today, Miss Audrey Lee. Hi. <laughs> she is one of my students and a very, very talented dancer, and she is gonna be helping me today with a scorpion. Just a reminder, this is an advanced move and some of you might not be ready for it. But those of you who are, I challenge you to try it. All right, so the easiest way to get started in a scorpion is at the bar. She's got her left hand on the bar and her foot tendued here. She's gonna brush that foot straight through first and look at the hand position as she reaches back. Her pinkies are grabbing the outside of the ankle. She starts to walk her hands up that leg. It's coming up towards the back of her head. She's gonna reach over with her other hand on the outside and as she starts to walk her hands down toward her knee, she's gonna extend fully and try to look straight up at that. Wow, I'm impressed. So once again, let's break that scorpion down one more time so you can really see the positions. So again, she's using the bar for balance to get herself ready. Her foot is tendued in the front. She's gonna go right through first position. Look at the way her hand comes back and her pinky is around the back. This is the trick to getting a good hold here. She's gonna actually start to bring the knee up so that it's level with the head. She's gonna take her opposite hand and stretch backwards and she starts to walk the hands down and she pulls straight up and tries to look right into that gorgeous scorpion position. All right, so here's the hard part, stepping away from the bar. All right, so you really gotta hold your core nice and tight. A little faster, six, seven, and through, reach, and pull. Hardest part about the scorpion is back flexibility. And I wanted to ask you, what's one of your favorite stretches to warm this trick up? Okay, let me hold on to this. So she's grabbing underneath the bar, she's got her neck and her chin underneath, and she's actually gonna start to pull forward and really release the back. She's actually opening up her chest by relaxing those shoulders and keeping them open so she's getting a good stretch there, which will actually help that scorpion position. So if you're not quite ready for your scorpion, I'm gonna give you this exercise that you can practice to build up into getting a scorpion. So face the bar, Audrey's gonna tendu that right foot in the front and she's actually gonna brush through and she's gonna try to bend that knee into a little back attitude and kick her head. And again, two, and again, good, and three, and again, and four, and again, and five. Good, let's trade legs. So she's gonna start again, seven, eight, brush and reach, and again, good, she's going through first. She's looking up to that ceiling in hopes to get her toe. I would try doing eight on each side and maybe once a day and see if that starts helping your back flexibility and getting ready for your scorpions. Uh, well, a big thank you to Miss Audrey Lee who worked so hard. My back is hurting watching her. So keep practicing those scorpions, or if you're working on stretching your back, or even some of those exercises that we showed you, hopefully you'll be up to doing a scorpion turn like this lady here. So thanks again, appreciate that. Um, I wanted to remind you that I am hosting a day of dance here in Orange County, California on Saturday, April 12th. I would love to have you. We're having some fun classes. I'm teaching a turns class. We have hip hop, we have contemporary, and a new Pilates class. So you can register at www.kbmtalentstore.com. I hope to see you there, and thanks again for watching. KVM Talent. Bye.